Hi there. The black pawn overload is a very simple yet not uncommon trap for white in the Budapest counter gambit where the black bishop gets caught offside and as a result the black pawn gets overloaded and white wins a piece. After d4 and knight f6, c4, the Budapest characterized by e5, offering up the pawn which white takes and now the knight on f6 has to run. G4 is the most common place, attacking the pawn on e5, which gets defended most commonly by bishop to f4. Knight c6 developing, adding another piece to regain that pawn, and white defends with knight to f3. Well, if queen to e7 immediately, then the bishop on f8 is going to get blocked in. So first black will play bishop b4 check to which white can interpose with knight c3 or knight to d2. Knight d2 more solid, keeping uh, the pawn structure intact. And now queen e7, lending a third attacker to the pawn on e5. White can play e3, resigned to the fact that he has to give back that pawn, and now the pawn can be taken. Knight g takes e5. Swapping off a pair of knights, knight takes e5, knight takes e5. White plays bishop e2, intending to castle. Black castles immediately. White castles, and now d6 is met by this nice little move, knight b3. And now black makes a, a very common mistake. Developing the last minor piece, bishop e6, is a losing move because it allows the simple a3, which hits the bishop on b4 and that bishop can't go to a5 because of a knight takes on a5 it can however go to c5 but then after knight takes on c5 this pawn here on d6 is overloaded meaning it's got too much work it has to defend the bishop on c5 as well as the knight on e5 and white simply wins with knight takes on c5 because after d takes on c5, bishop takes on e5, wins a piece for white. So this has been the black pawn overload in the Budapest counter gambit. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.